Hi, welcome into my channel. This channel is about astronomy, science, physics, but against the Big Bang, the, against the Doppler effect, against the black holes, against the, this kind of things. So, because I discovered the Big Bang is false. So, this is the way I'm making my videos. I'm not filming myself straight in a straight manner. I want to think when I'm telling you stuff. And I, I study list against some guys from YouTube that present on YouTube science. So, like, uh, this is, uh, but there's nothing against uh, necessarily. It's with Lorenz Soskin this time. My second video, I made four videos and I move on because there are a lot of guys that said false physics on internet. But this time uh, I'm with Lorenz Soskin about black holes radiation. Leonard Soskin, uh, what was it like to get into essentially a, a pretty big cosmological argument with Stephen Hawking. And be careful, because Hawking's one of my wheelchair boys. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we're really tight. We're really tight. <laughs> it wasn't that physical. What was it like? It was fun, and it was frustrating. It was incredibly frustrating. Um, Stephen had a view which was very, very difficult <coughs> to argue with. His ideas were based on very, very sensible ideas. A black hole is a place where nothing can get out of, but things can fall into it. And if things can fall into it and they can't get out, they're gone. But then the black hole evaporates. Stephen had proven that beyond anybody's uh, doubt. And so things fall into the black hole. They can't get out. The black hole evaporates. Poof, it's gone, just exactly as, uh, as Brian said. Um, it, it was unassailable. There was no way to argue the case, and yet some of us, particularly Harad and myself, very, very strongly felt that this really undermined everything that we knew about physics. So in, in a, a meeting like science meeting like this, he is saying that he was against the, the Hawking radiation, against uh, black holes, against, he was arguing like with Stephen Hawking, okay? So, but let me tell you, first of all, do not believe a man just because he's handicapped. You, you must understand. So, okay, I don't have anything against his handicap. This uh, interviewer uh, says that be careful because he's in a chair, okay? So, we, you might understand that it, it, he is wrong. But let me explain to you on short why Leonard Suskin was right against the, the, the Hawking radiation. So, he's explaining that uh, uh, Hawking said that uh, when a black hole emits, emits some kind of radiation that, and then it is consumed. Uh, like, like, let's say that this is the black hole and you are rapid, like this spring, this uh, wire, okay? I always say spring, but uh, wire, this wire, you'll wind it and you dissipate. So, but I'm telling you, he says, uh, Lona Suskin, uh, some reasoning that he had against the, uh, Stephen Hawking, he was right. Everything that we know about physics today and even much earlier was based on a principle of physics which is so basic that we sometimes forget to mention it to our students. It's the idea that information never disappears. And I'll tell you what that means. Information means distinctions, distinctions between things. Um, a hydrogen atom is not uh, is not a uh, oxygen atom. An oxygen atom is not a hydrogen atom. There are distinctions between these things, and it was a very very basic principle of physics that distinctions never disappear, that they may get scrambled, that they may get all mixed up, but if you start with one configuration and you let it go or you start with a different configuration which has different information and you let it go, they'll stay different. And Stephen was saying exactly the opposite. No matter what you throw into the black hole, in the end you get out exactly the same thing. It was extremely difficult to see what was wrong with what he was saying. It was even harder to make him understand that there had to be something wrong with what he was saying, so it was very, very frustrating. But at the same time, um, it was very exhilarating to, uh, to come up against this basic problem of 
conflict of principles, and if anything can break the impasses in physics, if there are no experiments available, it's conflicts of principle. When conflicts of principle arise, that's when major new paradigms can shift. And that's the excitement. That's really the excitement. How do so, I explain to me why? Okay, but let me explain to you for further why it is wrong. Uh, by doing this, I must explain to you Einstein from where all the mistakes came. Okay, so uh, this this is William Leibniz, six hundred forty-six seventeen. You see, and Newton, the same period, Isaac Newton, and both of them were making mechanical movement. And you do not believe that this is the same. Even they invented the same mathematical apparatus. They was they were uh, uh, an argue in this epoch, but they stole from one one from another, because the, in the epoch was the thought, and they discovered both both of them. And now you do not understand what is force for uh, for uh, Newton. It is kinetic energy for for Leibniz. So this is the fourth mistake that they do. Kinetic energy is force. And they give another uh, set, you see, a uh, half mass velocity and mass acceleration. Acceleration is velocity, but with time squared. Space over time squared. And velocity is space over time. If you put mass times space over or time squared, this is cutting in half. But it's mechanical movement made in the second way. And, and, now, and now this is the mistake, it seems simply to you and crazy maybe. And now do they, they, you understand that Leibniz was the first proponent of relativity? Relativity of time in a philosophy, philosophical manner. I study philosophy, even uh, philosophy of Leibniz. Okay, so, so he proposed uh, the space-time relativity, like you have the time it is in this object and the time goes through time. So it is relative, if it is in, in intrinsic and extrinsic, like Leibniz okay, said this. You see there is a time in this object, in, in it, inside of it, in the system, and another time in exterior, how they are correlated. There are some problems. Time for time, how? And, but like Newton did not ask himself this stuff uh, much uh, in a deaf lens. Also, Newton it is said that it is absolute time. And this is where the, uh, Einstein took the part of line, is not uh, Newton. So he calculated the movement, mechanical movement. With, with, the, with the equation of Leibniz equation, he used kinetic energy. Kinetic energy means uh, energy of transfer uh, when, when two bodies are hitting each other with mechanical movement. What I've told you on short is this. You see, this rock hits this rock. The experiments were made by, by Leibniz throwing rocks from, from the window. He was put it in a scale at uh, one kilogram from 10 meters and he saw how deep they penetrated the earth. You see this rock when it hits this rock, you see, this is mechanical movement, mechanical work, a mechanical movement. It hits with a, this mass hits with this mass, mass 2 hits mass 2. You see that something is transferred, what, what, what? The movement, but what is it in the transfer of movement? What? This energy. Kinetic energy, not electricity. And this is, it is strange, strange to you or crazy, but this is the cause of, of Hawking mistake. You see, Benjamin Franklin made electricity, not energy. He lived after this guy died. Ele electricity was known somehow by the Egyptian even and by Greeks. But this is the period when they started to work seriously with, with energy. So in 1700, uh, by 20 years, the, the, these guys were dying after, you see, he discovered an unfortunate name for Benjamin Franklin and that guy's name, electricity, not energy. Energy is an energy of transfer of mechanical movement, like this. This is energy. From Greek, it's a power, it's a philosophical concept. Leibniz was a uh, uh, philosopher. 
And, and the, there are two kinds of kinetic means movement. That's why mechanical movement. And there are two kinds. Static due to mass potential, like input. This has a potential to give some by mass. But this not give it to it until you move it. You understand? Until you move it. A potential energy by mass, kinetic of movement. And one that kinetic energy in work okay so this equation are for one uh, one body you put two kinetic bodies two two with different trajectory let's say that this one comes towards this one and you have an angle only like this because this is the uh, all the angles of the impact in the, in the circle all the cases of this are are cases of geometrical impact of the of the force and kinetic energy but this is the simple equation. This is. And this is telling you why the physics is wrong. But they do not know that they both calculated the mechanical movement. Okay, so this mechanical movement applies uh, at all, all the bodies. Okay. And now Albert Einstein came, being like a German, the original, like Leibniz. He took the side, you see, England won because it was the empire. I'm telling you that this was the mistake, philosophical mistake. And this, you believe that the energy equal mass times c square, it is electricity like Benjamin Franklin electricity, like this, <laughs> like light -like electricity, power plant uh, electricity, like Tesla power plant. But it's not energy. Energy is like power, like hitting power and has a quantity. So uh, a mass of one kilogram gives a mass of half kilogram uh, quantity and it moves uh, by a direction. Like it, the impact is in an angle of alpha angle. Okay. So all the cases are cases of geometrical application of these simple uh, equations. And Einstein made the equation kinetic energy. If you look at, uh, at uh, two masses, uh, uh, Einstein equation, it is a kinetic relation. Now Newton, everybody says that you see, but you can apply this on orbits even. Kinetic energy at the orbits. You can treat with mass and velocity, the planets. But they are treating like with, with Leibniz, with Newton equation, g-force and acceleration of the system, okay? So this is the first trick. It's simple, but it's not me who is crazy. The guy who identified, they now believe that Einstein energy equal mass times c square took this body so how discomposed them. Like if they have an atomic bomb, they believe that somehow the energy is, is converted, the mass is, all the mass is converted in energy. And this is what Einstein said, but it is, it is not what Einstein said, okay? This is the source of the confusion. And what Lerner says now, this is the why he was tricking himself. You cannot now intersect the law of electricity with the kinetic energy of movement. You cannot. This body gives, gives not to this body electricity, give a kinetic energy, not electricity. But, but you are tricked because, because you, if you have some movement, like, like you have some movement, mechanical movement, produce in some case electricity. So mechanical movement has a relation between that mass and with the, with the elect, elect, energy of movement. And a mechanical movement also like a river flowing can produce in a rotating fields electricity. So other, in another way, if you, if you understand this, let's say this, this will fall, you can treat the kinetic energy of fall like Leibniz, a mass, uh, like this, but but if you have instead of my finger like uh, like a motor, you'll produce even electricity. But but the relation it is not between this mass and electricity, but in the in the force of the movement and what kind of wires do you have? If you have some s small wires with like a, a bobbin, uh, bigger bobbin, and with uh, inside you have some copper or iron, you produce different intensity with, with this movement. On, so there is a relation between mass and, and ele electricity energy, and, and, and this is why they are tricked. Now, another kind of mechanical movement, I'm telling you like this is history to understand. 
that I know science, but it was handicap was strict, okay? Maybe it has some merits, but I don't believe so. Leonard Susskind, uh, what was it like to get into essentially a, a pretty big cosmological argument with Stephen Hawking? And be careful, because Hawking's one of my wheelchair boys. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we're really tight. We're really tight. <laughs> it wasn't that physical. What was it like? It was fun and it was frustrating. It was incredibly frustrating. Um, Stephen had a view which was very, very difficult <coughs> to argue with. His ideas were based on very, very sensible ideas. A black hole is a place where nothing can get out of, but things can fall into it. And if things can fall into it and they can't get out, they're gone. But then the black hole evaporates. Stephen had proven that beyond anybody's uh, doubt. And so things fall into the black hole. They can't get out. The black hole evaporates. Poof, it's gone, just exactly as, uh, as Brian said. Um, it, it was unassailable. There was no way to argue the case. And yet, some of us, particularly Harad and myself, very, very strongly felt that this really undermined everything that we knew about physics. Okay, so uh, black holes do not exist. So this is electromagnetic ma ma magnetic mechanics. Uh, now, if you have a wire, the, the uh, James Clark Maxwell, 100, you see, uh, 1831, uh, near the 1900s, he was putting the magnetic B, I guess, because magnet is with M, and his name was with M, and he didn't want it to like to be proud. Like, I, I, this is my guess because you see that triangle with B is uh, B is magnet, magnetic field with this delta B after there you see T is a magnet is a uh, magnetic uh, ma magnetic and this star equation of electromagnetic mechanics but this presupposed wires this presupposed wires this electromagnetic mechanics presupposes wires an electricity produced that it flows through a wire produces a magnetic field that's b uh, that, uh, that triangle equals zero and has some direction a quantity and by time and with the intensity if you vary the circuit of electricity through the wire you uh, can uh, big, uh, make larger the, the, the magnetic field and it, it says to you how it, it flows if you it flows like this it will make in an intensity uh, field like but through wires through wires and this is you are confusing this is the benjamin electron electricity this is the benjamin franklin energy electricity not the energy einstein energy this is electricity flowing through a wire and there's there another me quantum mechanics was derivated i'm telling you history that you understand to put your mind to, uh, clear. there was constatated uh, uh, by michael Fr faraday in, you see 1700 after newton and Leibniz. they were only mechanical movements faraday experimented with with movement and ele electricity n n even though they he did not discover he observed that electricity can produce movement a mechanical movement so this is where the trick be, be, you see maxwell does not say about masses because because he, he did not knew only by the, the fields intensity directions how they are uh, uh, producing they are like this on the wire like this circulating like this is the equation of Maxwell but he, he did not bother to 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 interpret something about mass because you do not care about masses only by the intensity fields of electricity okay so you now Michael Faraday you see after Benjamin Franklin we observed that the, the produces a mechanical movement it's exactly like this. In this case, I produce a mechanical movement and make an energy of impact, kinetic energy of impact. But now the movement can be produced artificial by the electric field. And this is where everybody were mistaken. But and Einstein worked with the Leibniz equation, kinetic can observe in, in his in this calculation. He named kinetic energy. 
So now you are believing that is kinetic energy of 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 elect of Benjamin elect electricity, like in a wire. And let, let me tell you supplementary. Now uh, Faraday observed induction. Like e, 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 what what is this? Uh, uh, you can have a circuit, a full continuum, continuous circuit. You pull the uh, electricity through it and it jumps, wireless. If and you produce a mechanical movement, you induce the electricity from a part to another part, Faraday. And Faraday was uh, the first who made some motors, but enough just to say that Michael Faraday invented the electric motor because he made some movement with electricity. He observed that some electricity move, move. So now Harry Hertz multiplied this idea of induction of a distance. He observed that the spark of electricity, Benjamin electricity, produces a field at a distance. He captured this spark in the two wires. He captured with other two brake wires at a distance. This is uh, give birth to the radio and the quantum mechanics. A mechanics of quanta of this and you do not understand they are believing that inside this mechanical quantity inside like it, you look in the mass and it is this spark how it moves through air and has as a movement mechanics has mass does not have mass is light what it is electron radiation with mass has a, 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 a type like like Maxwell say on the wire like a geometry of movement a frequency through here, like in a, in a cable, continuous cable, you know that it is moving with a frequency and a time and a second. And now they are believing, you see, in, in, in chemistry, they equate it. In, I'm explaining to you what Saskin says. In chemistry, you cannot make from, the, it, it is known an old time like uh, alchemy, to make from this rock gold, you know, make this. The field. This is what uh, Hawking says. <laughs> so like some alchemy, like you can make from this rock all all the black holes. You can convert it in 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 radiation, in energy. Because he did not understood that the Einstein did not work with that Benjamin energy, but with kinetic energy. And Einstein equation, if you read them on on two bodies, two masses and kinetic energy, he is. Uh, uh, this voltage. That's why he, this guy was the first proponent of, of, of relativity of time. And you're not, un, it is not meaning what you are understanding. Like a bird has a mechanical movement, and he is relative by, um, uh, 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 like you say, a train. There is no connection between the engine of the of the train and the, although they are having mechanical movements. So that's why he says, like philosophical language is like the inertial system. There is an inertial system that makes valuable the mechanical movement of the bird, but there is no connection between 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 the mechanical movements of of a train. So that's why he made uh, Einstein the postulate. They are valuable in all the inertial system. You treat masses and velocity at the train, but there is no connection. This is a sense of relative, not what you are believing, like in a philosophical manner, because he retook on language. His competitor, like he was German, okay? So this is kinetic energy, mass, or C squared. Because now you are seeing that there is a relation between, between, between light and energy. The energy from the battery produces light. So, so now if you, if you understand all of this uh, 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 Hertz movement has, has mass, it is a spark that jumps and produces an electro, uh, electromagnetic wave field. But you see that is not treating the mass. You see, <laughs> you see, Maxwell. It is a movement of electri electricity through a wire, but is not producing ma mass. And quantum mechanics is, is this this Maxwell but wireless. Quantum mechanics is Maxwell but wireless. A geometry of movement. And now, if you understand, this is uh, energy of impact with mass. 
So it must, it, 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 it can be that you treat the quantity or the intensity of the field of the electricity, but you do not care about mass, okay? So it is seems simple or not, maybe it's not, but this is the word where it was were crazy about. In chemistry, I started to tell you, you have, if you understand, you must understand that uh, uh, Hawking uh, uh, with Soskin and Soskin was right when they were arguing, okay? Everything that we know about physics today, and even much earlier, was based on a principle of physics which is so basic that we sometimes forget to mention it to our students. It's the idea that information never disappears, and I'll tell you what that means. Information means distinctions, distinctions between things. Um, a hydrogen atom is not, uh, is not a uh, oxygen atom. An oxygen atom is not a hydrogen atom. There are distinctions between these things. And it was a very, very basic principle of physics that distinctions never disappear, that they may get scrambled, that they may get all mixed up. But if you start with one configuration and you let it go, or you start with a different configuration which has different information and you let it go, they'll stay different. And Stephen was saying exactly the opposite. No matter what you throw into the black hole, in the end you get out exactly the same thing. So now, now they are believing that you convert this mass, kilogram mass, in energy because Einstein equated with the speed of light. It is false. It is a kinetic energy. Now if you are, are asking yourself more deeply, what gives this rock to this rock? Okay, you say an energy, but what is the energy? What is? You see, but now if you take two iron uh, uh, rocks made from iron and you impact them in, in, in the mechanics, you do not treat the, 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 the quality of, of the element, like in chemistry you have copper, you have uh, sulfur, you have, you do not care, you care only about masses and this is why where you are tricked. If you take a kilogram mass with another kilogram mass of rock, and you hit them, you put them in an equation, but you do not care about it, this is a iron. You put iron in a scale, one kilogram, and you hit it. And now you are believing that, that all the, it is transfer something, okay, kinetic energy. And maybe Einstein believed that is a light transfer. So this mass gives this mass light energy that has mass. So. I don't believe that in a pure sense, mass, even Einstein said, I, I, I saw somewhere, okay, that does not have resting mass. So you can treat electricity of, you see, there's a relation between light and electricity, but you do not know if this light hits you with mass, like these two bodies hit it, 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 each other. There's no uh, relation between light and mass now, of impact. So now you understand if you have a mass, let's say you have a black hole, it, it is very important from what materials. That's why in my previous video, I, 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 tell, I told you, uh, uh, you, you put them together with, about Laura Suskin, okay? You cannot explain, like, okay? I've told you that, that you cannot produce from hydrogen uh, light, only from atom of hydrogen. So a star must be with too many, many atoms, two maybe, with different of potential that to light be emitted. Okay? You, you have to have two, elect two atoms, okay? So now, if you treat like undistinguishable, you will understand that it is wrong to, to understand that this, is, uh, this mass will unwrap in, in, in radiation. It is, it is false, physics false. It's like you are treating that every, uh, every point of reality is like uh, uh, this, this, and everything is made with, how do you say of this, wire? Like, okay, material, I don't know, in Romania, Kunepa, okay, let's say like uh, that wind, uh, okay, I don't know, I don't know now, right, right, in English, okay, so you suppose falsely, like, like a false philosopher from antique, antique time that all reality is made from one material and you can unwrap this material and you will radiate the mass the pure mass will radiate until it will be extinguished but it is this is this is you understand that you cannot make this everything that we know about physics today and even much earlier 
was based on a principle of physics which is so basic that we sometimes forget to mention it to our students. It's the idea that information never disappears. And I'll tell you what that means. Information means distinctions, distinctions between things. Um, a hydrogen atom is not, uh, is not a uh, oxygen atom. An oxygen atom is not a hydrogen atom. There are distinctions between these things. And it was a very, very basic principle of physics that distinctions never disappear, that they may get scrambled, that they may get all mixed up, but if you start with one configuration and you let it go, or you start with a different configuration which has different information and you let it go, they'll stay different. And Stephen was saying exactly the opposite. No matter what you throw into the black hole, in the end you get out exactly the same thing. Do you are, uh, so he was confusing electricity, Benjamin electricity with electron, and with, 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 see, even if, though, if you use the Einstein equation, Einstein asked himself what is the relation between kinetic energy and mass and speed of light, you see, and a constant, because it was treated by, by this, not putting the mass in the, in, not treat in the mass, but I've told you that you can trick yourself. You you can produce from a movement electricity, but not the, all the movement. That's why I've I began to tell you in chemistry you have a mass. If you look in the Mendeleev, it increases by one hydrogen one, two helium, three lithium, and so on. Eight uh, uh, it increases with one. Okay, and it gives you the atomic mass and. Uh, uh, of the and and, and they, they are making equation to to stabilize like uh, the equation how much mass enters in reaction how mass goes from the reaction and and why is why and that presupposes elect, elect, electron and proton and and again they are believing that that electron and proton is the electron and uh, proton from the physics and it is not it seems crazy to you, but they were crazy. And the chemistry is made to, to, to balance the equation, and these were two names of the entities. If you, if you pull salt in water, you make salt water. If you put, if you burn uh, carbon hydrogen, uh, 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 hydrogen gas, it will, with uh, oxygen, will emit a uh, uh, molecule of oxygen carbon okay two and you must equilibrate how much mass you put in the reaction and and why do you have what well, i'm telling you that is a contradict contradiction between energy and mass and c square in, in the industry you you do not have a benjamin franklin electricity that's why they are believing that they were tricking themselves when you put it is not like you break up with electricity and then we become stable and neutral. They were tricking themselves. And why do you put the electron mass and proton mass? You, you, you have this mass and now you, you are believing that this is the intersection at the energy and mass uh, of C square. Let's say that all of this is proton, electron, energy and this. But it is not true, okay? There is something that is not converting in, you see, Leibniz equation, if you studied it carefully, a half of mass and type velocity. So all you have is transferred like kinetic energy to produce a mechanical movement. Not all this rock gives everything that has to this rock. Only you have, is, you understand, it produces a mechanical work and mechanical movement on functional time geometrical impacts okay so now so now nobody made if it, if it is a relation between uh, the speed of light and mass so this if he hits you with mass you saw that Maxwell did not do this so now I believe that Einstein implied the 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 relation between kinetic energy of movement of the phenomenon the half speed of light and, and this is the equation. So what they are electromagnetic waves and things like this. But I believe that, that you, you are wrongly believe that through the pure error, it is not my fault, but they are, they were mistaken. Quantum mechanics through the pure air, and you are believing that it is something that 
is inside. And everybody says that you cannot see the smaller object that they know uh, is light. And you can see light in all these variation and colors. Look, <laughs> you can see quantum mechanics. They are believing they were tricking themselves. The light is more, has the lesser energy per volume. So if you, if you want to say uh, uh, Planck uh, density and the smaller mass and energy, that must be the light, okay, per volume. So you can see it with your naked eye, look, quantum mechanics. And they are believing that you are looking in a, a stone. They were taking the self because the, the equation do not speak. You see, and you must have, you must have some philosophy. I am, a, I study philosophy, okay, even blindness, philosophy. And I've read, uh, even the philosophy of physics, I've studied, okay. Um, a few objects of philosophy of physics. So now this is the trick. I'm sorry, but you are tricking yourself for your physics, guys, okay? So even the electron from the chemistry is not electron that flows through a wire, maxwell electron like this, electromagnetic mechanics. And this is engineering science, if you understand somehow. It is not a general electric magnetic mechanics because you have to have a condition. You have to have wires. This is it. This is not quantum mechanics like Hertz quantum mechanics. That quantum mechanics is a, a movement of geometry in a space, in empty space. And this is where they imply the empty space and all things like that. This equation, can you deri derivate from them even the orbits and things like this? Maybe, maybe yes, because you have some masses and you have some movement of the planet in a circular manner. So can you take Einstein equation and you understand if this, uh, you watch my previous video, and this field of gravity that says 9.10 meter per second squared is an electron uh, energy with mass energy because it hits with a mass. So you have two, three equation you understand. Now, if you have two for mechanical movement, three equation that the physics is wrong somehow. But it seems simple to you, but you do, if you do not con have control, philosophical, logical, philosophical, you see, you, they are saying that you cannot see, you cannot see only uh, some phenomenon of light, like radio waves and uh, 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 things like this, but you can observe them like you, with some pieces and some antennas and things like this, okay? So that's, but, but that phenomenon move to the speed of, of the speed of light. So if you, you can see uh, quant some part of the quantum part, the light part, and it is more finer than this. What is hitting uh, the world to make you see it is the finer, um, um, the finer thing that you can think with the finer mass, the finer, the smaller mass, the smaller energy that you can see. So if you see that you, you at a small atomic scale, these tricks, tricks, uh, 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 philosophical tricks, this is atomic scale and you can see light, the most finer mass and energy that <laughs> exists. And there is another uh, set of vibration at quantum, Hertz quantum mechanics. It is not something that you are believing. Hertz quantum mechanics, and can you, you can treat it also in two parts. Uh, quantum mechanics like, like, like Maxwell mechanics through wire, wireless quantum mechanics without mass, you are interested only one of the mechanics of the energy electro, electron energy. Not elect uh, and the second part when you are interested of heating of this, because can be a, a charge and discharge of electric quantum mechanics, wireless quantum mechanics, like this Maxwell is through some cables, okay? Can be a discharge with, and you, to, you do not treat masses. And you do not know what is the relation between heating mass of a wave of, of quantum mechanics, wireless hertz, uh, Michael Faraday uh, uh, observed this uh, first, but okay, this is refined in induction, that induction in the first motor. Okay, so this is the trick. Now, you, you are saying, you are saying that you collapse this like everybody, like 
And I'm told you that's why I don't have nothing against. We are human, okay? And you know uh, that if you are saying you are against the handicapped people, but it was right or not. Can you convert this mass in radiation? This is stupid. Because what is the difference quality, quality, quality this, this is what uh, uh, Leonard Suskin says. Between copper and, and this is the mistakes that they are believing. They fuse hydrogen in copper and iron. But I'm knowing, I'm knowing that it is a mass, a mass is treat like a kilogram mass. You do not care what is the material, but when you treat the material, you cannot produce energy from this. Or if you have uh, iron and copper. So this is not an energy system. So you can break it, crush it, you will not produce electricity from it. You must have a power plant to make so, some Michael Faraday movement with induction of distance or by contact. You understand? So this is the electron that is not from, from chemistry. So this was every uh, bad thing that they do. And now they are saying that this will collapse in a density, supposing that all of everything is electric energy somehow and masses, relation. And you will collapse and then will radiate, like round radiate what? Some electricity, el electricity. And you must understand that this is a relation. What? Einstein must be understood like this. You hit with this rock, this rock. It gives what? What? It moves it. But what is give, what gives this rock to this rock? It's a field somehow. And what is that field? That field it is what unseen field. You <laughs> see? It is an energy field. Ele but not electron energy field. An energy that is with mass. And it's a half. Half it says. Oh, you have the velocity and you catch any half. And you put the mass and you observe. And this is the uh, uh, philosophical concept, the kinetic energy. And this, and you know that this will hit you in an angle like this. This is the whole possible hitting angle. So you cannot hit the wall only in this angle, okay? Like this, like in a semisphere. And you put it case like in a semisphere, half a sphere. You cannot hit other, other, in other ways a wall. And like these rock are impacted one to another. So there is an alpha factor, an uh, angle factor of heating and a mass factor of heating. But this is the relations. Kinetic energy. And you put two bodies, three bodies, and you compound and discompound vectors like quantity vectors. And we have the calculus mathematics. So Einstein, if you understand now, treat it the, the mass because it is not the mass treat is like in electricity and they could be a, 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 a universal relation between kinetic energy that is a heating a, a kinetic energy not electron energy and all the masses correlated by the speed of light becomes like a factor temporal factor you see they define the time the time like you you only hit this you hit it with velocity the, this is the transfer instant you presuppose it a point like in the transfer instant. And if you if you are saying that you do not have another speed than the speed of light, and you presuppose, you see it is a C squared, it's a C squared, like you see like a constant, a constant to transfer between masses of hitting masses. But it is not electric electricity and and you cannot put it because you cannot heat electricity with mass. Electricity is absorbed and emitted, wireless and non-wireless. So if you understand, you um, you are telling that hey, I'm crazy, but but you must. Uh, this is the way I make my videos. I'm training like a tea science, coffee science. I don't want anything. I discovered that the stars are small and close in our galaxy. 
is the only uh, day with the speed of light. And what you call galaxies at this hour are the board of our galaxy put in clouds and we cannot see what you are calling the universe. But do not sound crazy, I explain to you all the science, <laughs> you understand? So if you want to compare, I take on internet guy and I'm telling you where is wrong and one, what, what is right. And by some accident, is, is, it is right. Uh, 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 Learn a skill, and you must understand why, why. You cannot convert all the chemistry in radiation. No radiation, uh, electric radiation. You cannot convert it. There is no relation like this in the physics at this time. Okay, you cannot convert it. Even even if you could, and there's a relation. There's not a relation of a black hole like you are saying, like a dead star black hole. It is a relation that intersects the kinetic energy of mechanical movement that move with mass with, with kinetic energy movement, like a mechanical movement. It is a relation. This will not produce a, a black hole. It is a, it is a relation that connects the, kin, the kinematics, the movement. That's why cinema comes. From here, cinema, it is moving pictures. Pictures that move, kinema, kinetic, movement. It treats mass. You must have a mass, a kilogram, no matter small, how small it is. 0 0.0000000 grams. You must have a mass and you treat the in impact in, in an angle, in an all possible angle. And you know from line it's what is the energy of transfer. But this this concept is philosophical, transfer energy, and what it is, what it is, energy, but what it is, what it is, and maybe it is, it is like a, a, a transfer of, of, of light, of some kind of light, this is like, uh, this geometry has like a quantity, like a radiation, like a field, like a soul, while we are thinking a soul, and this soul is made from light, and when it impacts, it gives half of quantity of that soul, and that soul being light, like light, light. And this is what Einstein, not quantum, I don't know what, what you hallucinate at this hour, but not understanding this, nobody understood them, and I guess maybe not even Einstein. And you are, you must be a, pay attention that the electron from chemistry is not the electron from physics, this electron. It is not. That electronic and a Benjamin electron defined in a wire with the mechanical movement and frequency undulation like this by, by, by this guy, okay? And in chemistry you treat only the connected and disconnected parts like magnets like with the positive and where it goes, like to, to, to know where is the trajectory, with what will connect the chlorium, sodium, with what, with what, with what quantity of mass. And he treats mass because you, you must conserve the masses. This is uh, what Soskin said. You have this mass with, with, with some mass of salt. You put the salt in the scale and this uh, uh, quantity, you not put salt in coffee. I have your coffee, okay? But you must conserve the mass, okay? This is what Soskin says. You have uh, this mass of salt, this mass of, you see, you, you conserve the mass. But the reaction it is in chemistry is not between masses like in physics. It is a chemical reaction when the soul bounds, bounds with something. Bounds. And it is described electron uh, by, by mistake. They are naming, like Benjamin, electric from Greek. It means power. It, mean, it means power, like energy. You see, that's this uh, philosophical concept. I have energy. I have power. What is that? It is chemical kind, is it have a movement, has some properties. This is the kinetic energy of movement and treats mass. You understand? So you can treat quantum mechanics, wireless mechanics of quanta and in wire mechanics, but this you already made by Maxwell. <laughs> it is in quantum mechanics through some wire, okay? So and you can treat wireless quantum mechanics. Maxwell did not do this. Then in that can be separating two parts that hits with mass you are interested if it if it is a spark of hertz spark hits with mass but not the spark itself uh, the, the wave that the spark produces has a mass and hits with mass Einstein says that some has 
This is the equation, uh, but we put on short, okay? And you must keep in mind all the time, the, tempor the temporal time when they lived this. This guy was living in 1600s, 1700s. And Benjamin Franklin was born when these the guys were, were, de were dying. So the electricity is prior to this, okay? So, so this is in a simple way I explained to you even Einstein and all the physics, okay? So, so you, you must take this from this, this simple fact. Electricity is not energy, okay? Kinetic energy or movement. Okay, so uh, now our uh, video again where I explain to you all the physics, okay? This guy made a battery, Volta, and, and uh, Faraday produced some movement for electricity and induction, but I believe that a real motor, it, it, it matters who produced the force movement of, of an, an object with electric motor. So you understand now there is a mass at the hydrocentral power. You have this bobbin with wires and in the middle you have some so another metal in copper and another like iron okay and you when you spin it it'll produce you know wire electricity does electricity and then you hallucinate from chemistry that the electrons are you do not know what at this hour what what is matter basically you are just confused in yourselves okay so you cannot i telling you you cannot obtain maybe it is a relation of the transfer bit somehow you sup you catch a reality between the transfer like uh, it, it electric energy and mass electric energy so goodbye god bless this is the way i made my videos i'm not filming myself straight uh, i don't want to put this straight to stay like like i don't know like at school <laughs> or something and i'm not looking always straight in, in the camera not because i'm shy or something i don't care but i must think okay so this is how i made my videos and and I'm against the Big Bang, but I'm not sound crazy. I discovered that the Big Bang is false. The stars are close and small, and they're in one day with the speed of light. The Doppler is false. The, the black holes are false. You cannot sustain a star four billion years. You show me on paper how can you emit light from an object. Four billion years that you give the age of the sun. You show me on paper like how can you emit light for billion years? And stop lying these planets, dude, okay? So our solar system is in the middle of a galaxy that is a sphere. And this galaxy is what you are calling the universe. And it has only one day. And that what you call galaxies are stars, including clouds. Are we stars? The light does not is obligated to be like a sphere. The, the galaxies are weird stars, are stars with, with, with matter, with junk and unjunk, crystals, metals, and there's electric field, because there's electric field. That micro background radiation, and it is semi-void inside our solar system, is the semi-void. It is an, an er energy with mass. You, have, you must have a mass. And it's a complex field. It was an experiment, a terror experiment. It has electricity, magnetism in it. It has, uh, it has microwave background radiation that is electronic radiation. You must have electrons, that kind of energy. Ele electron and energy, okay? Ele and, and light energy, has even light in it. This, is, this field, light field does not, is not obligated to have mass that part light part that's why i believe that's partial true because uh, you can treat the mechanics of light that not hit with mass and and you cannot combine them you cannot combine them okay uh, all of this okay so goodbye god bless so i'm telling you stephen hawking is wrong you you because uh, in the stars are small there are stars they are like this small <laughs> believe me or not million Trillions of stars are smaller than the moon. And if you have some uh, 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 alloy, some crystal instruction, and electroshock them, they will produce light. And you cannot predict when they die because they are taking energy. They are not like black you, you fought with battery. They are alimentated. And you cannot predict when they are burning and exploding and things like this. Nor even the sun. Even the sun is alimentated.
is alimentated okay goodbye by bless god bless that's why i began this channel i don't want money don't have want anything but you are you are wrong and we can go to the planets we can go even to to the stars and it is not my fault that you are lying okay when you reach the star there is a one day with the speed of light of clouds black clouds made from hydrogen oxygen not dark matter energy because does not exist in physics that concept that trick tricked you and einstein did not bend this space okay you have a gravity is a circular movement so you treat a circular mathematics that's why <laughs> not it is simple but this is why einstein used a circular mathematics okay and uh, the circular field electric field will move circle the bending of light this is simple uh, uh, moving in a circular matter of light and Einstein says so in, in his time like this he was tricked he was personally tricked Einstein he does not have a control on his mind and he was tricked he was going at the dope uh, at the Hubble with the, uh, because he was theoretical physicist okay so he was tricked but let me tell you like this this guy is a was a philosopher william james and i read his book you see 1910 he died this book pragmatist he says in the book that the uh, universe has 300 million years so not even the strata by darwin time were billion years you may be thinking after after einstein live even be, uh, at that current day it was you see i read this book he says in this book pragmatist which is a so, psycholo philosopher okay pragmatist 300 million years the age okay of the earth of the universe so in in near the 1900s though he had a billion years he was enough for them and then were 9 10 18 and 21 and they they uh, took down to uh, 17 billion years and then again to 13.7 billion years but the Doppler is false and you are inventing this to fight with like from biology and you can have a planet made instant and we can go to the planets the stars are close and you are lying and that's why I did I don't want to make this big description of the entire physics but you understand that you are wrong we can go to the planets the stars are close and small they are smaller than the moon and you I don't know what it is I read some other saint, you believe in your night, in, he wrote that there is light. That he, he knew that is a spherical galaxy, concave, like, like in this way, towards us. We do not know what, how it's outside, but it's it, uh, like, and, and when you reach the end of the stars, there's one day with the speed of like black clouds, hydrogen, oxygen mainly, water, like in a vapor manner, in an electromagnetic field. And this, and after this day begins what you call this day universe. It seems strange to you, but you understood that I explained to you all the physics. And with equation, you do not have other equation. That this is the equation. This is the mathematics. And this is the words of the philosophy. And you can keep the planet in darkness after this when you the star sand become one day with the speed of light and then there's other maybe other galaxy like this but we do not know and that galaxy are simply star believe me or not you were crazy until now and the doper is false and you how do you calculate the distance as a star are, are false the thermodynamics is falsified you cannot obtain millions of degrees in thermodynamics and so the stars you cannot infer from light the millions of degrees or, or so the stars are cold i'm telling you they are emitting light like this only light and they do not have planets maybe there's some junk like like a planet like like there like this like it does not produce light maybe it could be millions of, of, of pieces from material because it's made our our galaxy is made in a cloud of water though partially voided because it is not pure void empty pure void that you conceptualize because it's nothing space with nothing okay it is this field energy field but it's produced not by the sun but uh, by the clouds of the end of our galaxy produce the field that converging in the sun okay goodbye god bless believe me or not I'm telling I'm telling you the truth. Goodbye. God bless. Maybe I, I took my my goodbye three, four times in this video.
Goodbye.